Okay, brothers and sisters, we have 15 minutes left. لِمَذَا خَرَجَ أَمَّارُ وَيَاسِرٌ مِنَ الْفَصْلِ Inshallah, you'll be able to answer it. خَرَجَ أَمَّارُ مِنَ الْفَصْلِ لِ يَشْرَبَ Now you will say لِ يَشْرَبَ We are talking about him. لِ يَشْرَبَ الْمَارُ وَخَرَجَ يَاسِرٌ مِنَ الْفَصْلِ لِ يَغْسِلَ وَجَهَ هُ Inshallah. Very good, brother and sister. Aina yuridu Hashimun and yazhab fi utlat saifi. Ha, brother and sisters. Yuridu and yazhaba ila misra. Are you with me? Misra. You will you will be able to figure out, inshallah. Limaza yuridu Yusufu and yazhaba ila landala. Limaza Yuridu and Yazaba ila Landana Li Yadrusa Li Yadrusa Logatal Inclisiata Hunaka. Fine, but then said Fi Ayi Kuliatin Yuridu Marwanu and Yadrusa Yuridu and Yadrusa Fi Kuliati Sharia. Simple, simple, brother. Now, this is a little tough. Huh? Question number two. Ikra, read Ma Kalahu Humayun. Lil Mudaris. Read what Humayun said it to the teacher. Summa Imla. Fill in the blanks, brother. In the light of that. Allah do is alika in the light of that. Okay. Yuridu Humayun An Brother and sister An Yajili Sa An Yajili Sa Amama Al Mudari Si Umama Al Mudari Si Li Anna Maka'aduhu ba'idun an hu from the teacher. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? An hu from the teacher. Wala wala yara. He cannot see. La yara ma yaktubul mudar risu ala sabura. Read it again and try to figure out, brothers and sisters. And you have hello tamarin. First, do it on your own. Then check with Hello Tamari. Yas alu madarisu kullan minatullahi hazal sawal. Now this is a question you should ask each other, brothers and sisters. Aina turidu an tazhaba fi utlat saifi. And if you ask a sister, what will you say, sister Hafsa? Aina turidina an tazhabi. Are you with me? To the Brother, you will say, Aina turidu an tazhaba. And to the sister, what will you say? Aina turidina an tazhabi. Inshallah. Fi utlat is safi. Now, the next question you can ask each other. Fi ayji kuliyatin turidu an tadrusa. To the sister, what will you say? Fi ayji kuliyatin turidina an tadru si, mashallah. See, you are getting the idea, alhamdulillah. Sister Mamuna, is it clear? Inshallah, inshallah. The teacher asks every student, Limaza kharashta min al fasli. What will be the answer? Everybody will answer like this. How will you answer? Kharashtu li. And after li, what you should say? Here are the answers. Kharashtu li first answer. Li ashraba al ma'a. Kharashtu li adhula al mirhada. Are you with me? I wanted to go to the washroom. Kharashtu li agasila vajihi. Are you with me? Because you have to make it mansoor. Huh? 
خرش تو لی از حبا ال المدیری وٹ آر یو ڈوئنگ نا یو آر میکنگ فیل مداریا ان ٹو منسوخ دیٹس آل یو آر ڈوئنگ اٹ بردر اینڈ سسٹرس لی از حبا لی اگسیلا لی ادخلا لی اشربا وٹ ول بی دا نیکسٹ پن خرش تو لی آ خوزا دفتری من زمیلی تو ٹیک موک فرام مائی کلیگ خرش تو لی اکرا الانا ٹو ریڈ دا نوٹس دس از نائس برادر خرش تو لی آرف وٹ از دا میننگ آف آرف ٹو نو وٹ ڈو یو وانٹ ٹو نو سبب داؤدائی وٹ از دا میننگ آف داؤدائی نوائز ٹو فائنڈ آؤٹ دا ریزن فار دا نوائز اوکے بردر ہیئر دس جینٹل مین ہیز اے ویری یو وانٹس ٹو سن بیت خرش تو لی اجلیسا فش شمسی یو وانٹس ٹو ٹیک سن بات اگری وتھ می بدن سسٹر خرش تو لی اب سوکا تو سپٹ خرش تو لی اب ہسا ان مفتاہی تو سرچ فار مائی کی خرش تو لی اس علا مدر رسل فکہی سوالا تو آس تا تیچر آف دا فکہ ایک قویشن سو ان ادر ورڈز After Lamu Ta'alil, the fail, Mudariya becomes Mansoor. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Okay. And tomorrow, we will go a little deeper and figure out why. Okay, fine. Brothers and sisters, now Ikra Ma'yali, look at it. Now, if this lesson explains us Master Mu'awal, you will see Master Mu'awal in every sentence. It will come from top, from bottom, from left, from right, from front, from behind, everywhere. You will see. What will you see? Master Mu'awal, brother. Okay. Uridu an adhaba ilal mustav safi. Translation, brother. I want to go to the clinic. Remember, to go. You are saying to go. Nasitu. I forgot. Forgot what? An akula laka shayyan. An akula laka shayyan. What is the meaning of that? I forgot to tell you something. Okay. Where is the fa- uh, mafulun bihi of nasitu? An akula. And what is an akula? Al mastar al mu'awal. Fi mahalli nasbin mafulun bihi. And you know how to describe mastar mu'awal. Huh? An حَرْفُ نَسْبٍ وَمَسْتَرِيٍ أَكُولَ فِعْلٌ مُدَارِيٌ مَنْسُوبٌ بِفَتَى فَعَيْلْ مُسْتَطِرْ تَقْدِرُهُ أَنَا Are you with me? Now this is, I'm only explaining you, brother. I hope you understand. And then you just have to feel it. Inshallah. أُرِيدُ أَنْ أَحْفَذَ الْقُرَانَ الْكَرِيمُ Uh, what is the translation, brother? I want to memorize. Huh? Okay. Now, this is also a very nice sentence. An ahfaza. Make it into a proper master. Hifzal. Uridu hifzal Quranil kareem. Hifzal Quranil kareem. Are you with me? Alhamdulillah. Nasitu an... Aktuba darsa. Brother, change that. An aktuba. What is the master for an aktuba? Kitabatun. Nasitu kitabatak darsi. I forgot the writing of the lesson. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. I'm only... You do not have to. But I'm just throwing these masters left and right for you to feel that master muawal can be changed into proper master. Huh? So, 
What is the next one? Very beautiful sentence, brother. Most beautiful sentence. Uridu an adrusa logatal arbiata. Li annaha because it is logatul. Logatul Quran al Karim. Isn't it beautiful? Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. I noticed that some of the questions were skipped in the videos given by Brother Asif. So I thought that I'd go through them, inshallah. He left off from number six. Nuridu an nas'alaka su'alan ya ustav. So the translation of this would be that we want to ask you a question, Su'alan, Ya Ustav. So, Nuridu would be Fa'il, Mudara. The Fa'il is Nahnu, we. And then we have the Maf'ul Bihi, which is the Master Ma'awwal. And nas'alaka. The verb nas'ala has two objects, not just one. The fa'il in this verb is nahnu. And there's two maf'ul bihis. The first one is the the kaf, the pronoun. It refers to the to the teacher, the ustav. And we have the second maf'ul bihi, su'alan we have Ya Ustav, O Teacher, or O Sir, depending on how you translate that. Aturidu an taqula li shay'an? This is a question, because of the Hamza there. Do you want to say to me something? The better translation of this would be, do you want to say something to me? Aturidu an taqula li shay'an? Then there's Yuridu Akhi and Yadrusa Jamiati Al Islamiati. Now, if you make this a mustar, mustar sarih, or a true mustar, we would say Yuridu Akhi Al Dirasata Bil Jamiati Al Islamiati. And in this case, Akhi would be the fa'il. Then we have Nasitu and Aktuba. Al Unwan Al Zarf Al Zarfi. I forgot to write the address. Unwan means address. Ala upon the Zarf envelope. Now the word Zarf, we know that there's Zarf Makan and Zarf Zaman. It's the same word, but it can actually be used with more than one meaning. In this case, it's used in a literal sense of envelope. Now, literally, a zarf is a container. It contains something. Now, let's get to question number seven. أجب عن الأسئلة الآتية مستعملاً أن. Let's just do an Arab of this. أجب means answer. It's a command verb. عن الأسئلة الآتية. Answer the Translation would be answer the questions, and atia means the following. So the qu the following questions. Answer the following questions, and then it uses the word musta'milan, and we can see that it's mansub because of the elif here. So the question is, why is this mansub? What is what does musta'milan mean? It comes from, we'll learn about this later, it comes from the verb istamala yastamilu, which means to to utilize or to use something. And mustamil is the ism fa'il, is the active participle, so the one who uses. I'll give you the answer. Mustamil actually is a hal, it's a state. So when we answer the question, أجب عن الأسئلة مستعملا 
in the state of u- utili- being a utilizer of an. So we are utilizing an, and that's what that means. And that's why it is mansub. We'll learn this all later, inshallah. If you, if you don't understand that, that's fine. It will all be made clear later on in the course. Now let's get to the question. Aina turidu an tadhaba fi utlatis sayfi. So, where do you want to go? Fi in utlatis sayf. Um, in the summer holidays. So there's a question. Where do you want to go in the summer holidays? So you'd answer that by saying, Uridu an adhaba. So Uridu, using the first person, because you're speaking. Uridu an adhaba ila, to. And then you name the place where you want to go. Now, next question is, Lima. Lima means why lima so it says here lima lima turidu an tadrusa al-lughata al-arabiyyata so why do you want to learn the arabic language you'd answer this by saying similarly in the sing- in the first person uridu an adrusa al-lughata al-arabiyyata and then you state your reason. So you 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 would probably use uh, alam alam ta'deen. For example, you say li afhama li afhama al Qur'ana. Let's get on to the next question. Next question is ma'aman turidu an tal'aba. Ma'aman with who turidu an tal'aba. So with who do you want to play with? You'd answer this by saying, Uridu an al-laba ma'a And then you can mention the, the person who you want to play with. You could say ma'a Asdiqai, my friends, or ma'a Muhammad, with Muhammad. And we have that man can be used for the singular, the dual, and the plural. So we say ma'a man, we're not just talking about one person or two people. It could be more than that. So men is a ism istifham, but it's used for the singular, dual, and plural. Then we have next question. Min ayyi idha'atin turidu an tasma'a al-akhbara? So from which radio station do you want to listen to the news? And you'd answer by saying, "Uridu an asma al akhbara min ida atil," and then you'd name your station that you're listening to. Next is, "Mada turidu an tashraba ya akhi." What do you want to drink, O oh brother? And then you answer by saying, "Uridu an ashraba," and then you'd name the drink, "Ashaya," for example. Tea. Next, Lima Turidu and Tedhaba Ila Tabib. Why do you want to go to the doctor? And then you answer, Uridu and Edhaba Ila Tabib. And then you'd use Lama Ta'ali. Li Annani Maridun. Because I am sick. Next, ماذا تريد أن تأكل في العشاء? Now, just one thing to note is the word عشاء. It means dinner. If this was a kasra, isha, isha is the time, the night time. So, just with one kasra, it cha- will change the meaning. So, what do you want to eat at dinner? Then we have the last sentence. ماذا um, نسيت? What have you forgotten? So the answer would be Nasi tu I forgot what I forget Naktuba Adarsa. 